Hey, welcome back to 1 Samuel chapter 4. Good morning. We're looking at verses 1 to 3 today as we begin this whole chapter. There's a whole sequence here. Here's what the first three verses have kind of as an opening up for us. Now it happened one day that Jonathan, the son of Saul, said to the young man who bore his armor, Come, let us go over to the Philistines' garrison that is on the other side. But he did not tell his father. And Saul was sitting in the outskirts of Gibeah under a pomegranate tree, which is in Migron, the people who were with him were about 600 men. Ahijah, the son of Ahitub, Ichabod's brother, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eli, the Lord's priest in Shiloh, was wearing an ephod, but the people did not know that Jonathan had gone. Now, that's kind of a strange place to stop, but, you know, we've got to try to get the different pieces each day. So, Jonathan's going out. He's going to go out and try something that's uh, pretty intense, and he could easily be killed. He's the second in line after the king, his father. But he doesn't tell his father, and that points to something kind of interesting going on here. There's some kind of a dynamic here between Jonathan and his father, Saul. In fact, we often find Saul doing what? Sitting under the pomegranate tree somewhere. He seems to find them very readily. He finds these trees, and he's, he's seated there, and he's sort of ruling everything, and there he is. Jonathan goes off on his own, and we're going to see quite an extraordinary adventure that just happens starting tomorrow morning. But Jonathan's starting it here. His armor bearer is with him. He says, let's go over to the Philistines' garrison. There's going to be a mighty exploit tomorrow morning. But just today, we're just noticing the difference between Saul, who's seated under the pomegranate tree. Maybe he's, you know, drinking lemonades. But Jonathan's out there working. He's working and serving God, and he's going to put something to the test. He's not just going to go out there and willy-nilly do something, he's going to see to it that something can be, that there's a sort of like a fleece he's going to put out. So we'll see this all tomorrow morning, but we see these two different approaches. One's an approach of initiative, get out there and do something, try it, at least try. And then we have uh, Saul who's parked and sort of waiting for things to come to him. Reactive uh, stance, Saul is going to wait and see what happens. And we have sort of a proactive stance, Jonathan. He's going to go out there and, and pound on something and see if he gets something going on. So two different approaches to serving God, and we'll see tomorrow morning which way to go. Application for you and I. There's a lot of leadership that's of the Saul variety, at least the Saul variety that we see here out there today. There's a lot of leadership that says, we're just going to, uh, we'll try to react to each thing as it comes along, but we're going to be on the defensive. We're just going to sit back and hope that things all kind of zoom past us on every side, but we'll react to some of the stuff that happens. There's that stance. And then there's another stance that says, hey, it's late in the hour. We've got a lot to do. We want to serve the Lord. He will be with us. Uh, let's test him. Let's Let's test him in, in the positive sense. Let's see if he'll work for us as we seek to serve him. So two different stances, a proactive and a reactive stance. Let's see tomorrow morning what happens in this famous, famous event from Scripture. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for Jonathan and his intrepid nature. We thank you that his armor bearer is ready to go with him. And so we are going to watch and see what you do with this situation. Uh, we have a lot of things coming at us these days, Lord, and we need to be uh, wise in, in choosing how we use the resources you give us. Uh, but we also, Lord, need to be uh, aggressive in serving you. So show us how. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. So may the Lord help you today to discern between uh, the things you should do and the things you shouldn't do in your service to God on this special day he's given to you. God be with you this day.